Hello everyone, and welcome to Control. I attempted to do a let's play of this game about a year and a half ago or so. I only made it two episodes in before I nixed it because I wasn't having any fun. Uh, but now since I just completed Alan Wake, I figured eh, it's probably a better time to go back into this. There's, I've already planned a bit, I've gotten everything that I need to out of this game. Fair warning. So for now we're just going to have a fun, relaxing time. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I did. I bought you. I could have gotten the deluxe edition. Uh, but I s saved like ten bucks going I to the know standard edition. I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I, I found the nothing. Edition for free, or something like that. It, it was. It's like. like like an upgrade, you pay we live for the in a room. upgrade on the PS5 or something like that. And there's a poster on the wall. I, mean, I may have it. I don't know. We stare at it, and, and we think see. that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? I need to fix some stuff. How to do anything. Uh. Sure. Come back on. I don't know. There we go. Anyone here? No. No, no. And I wasn't responding to her question. I was just like, no. I don't want them on. Okay. Alright, Brand, don't get lost in this. I don't want, mm. you know, and in the spirit of it, just to find all the manuscripts and all that jazz. Control walk. Collectible. There. That's not fun. You're not gonna tell me where they are. <sighs> oh well, guess we're doing this the old fashioned way. Need to get 
my glasses up for this one. Where did I put those bastards? They're warm in a few days. So, this is so terrible to me. Advanced video. Let's see, there we go. Uh, there's something here like a map or something like that. I, I, my brain is just floating back. I didn't even read. I know the general story. I know the general what happens to beat in this game. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. If I were to take off my over... No, 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 no. You guys can't see it, but I'm doing other stuff to my computer. Yeah, that doesn't do that much. Alright, this is it is then. Tiny. Is there anything I can make? Have them zoom that in? Set all that to default. Uh. <laughs> I can toggle walking. Toilet paper! I remember making this reference. I, I do believe this is one of the first ones. I, I did it with Resident Evil 7 as well. Why do I need that a toggle old walker? Bureau of control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Oh, that's a bit redundant. But whatever. So small. Oh, oh, I gotta press. Okay, I can zoom in. Yeah, so how about that Super Bowl, guys? Huh? Huh? I 
things on later tonight. I'm forced to watch this. Watch the ads for a class. I hate reading so much. In my profession, it's what I'm forced to do. Anyway. I hear you, Jeff. Hello? I thought you wanted to go on a vacation or something. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. Hi, Ahti. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you, you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Like you just that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Wait a minute. I was just in this bathroom. And I didn't have to pee. What the hell? <sighs> the depths of hell. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I had to turn the music up so there it is. I've actually muted any copyrighted music. That way they can't play block me. So These guys are fake, I think. Finish Polish somewhere over there. Same guy I did, I don't like it. I need to quick play Quantum Break. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Uh, 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Might be one of those games that might go two hours because this is going to be a long game. <coughs> Trench. Barbara, I'm not 
to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trying to get you, Barbara. Shit. I mean to shit, get you, shit, shit. Strange. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake? I wish there was a bit more of you, Jess. I don't know why, but I just wish that there was. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results oh, of dog. AWE's altered world events, intrusions or upon the perceived reality. Now, as I like to call them. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Yeah, you should have been sat down, Pyramid. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component uh -huh. in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Uh-huh. Why do I need the ability the to walk? Control the house. Okay, now I have a gun.
Who's shooting at me? spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here I'm kind of not but that Things just me about remedy outside. is it safe to go nope oh you won't close the door. You can't do the nope moment. What is that? You can't let this happen. 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 I really wish there was you more. Can't let this happen. You 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 stopped it. <laughs> you. Horror. Nice lip sync in there, guys. What do we got here? Spend internal security personnel. Quick was hit to take advantage of that. Bull pulp rifles. Service weapon. Variable. Da 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 da. Scan the role of director. The object will turn person if is able. Some of these guys are. Not where they all are. There's a cost. I think it was during COVID when I first started playing this game and I made the river just like, oh! Try the paper. Reminder, if you experience oh, an is. unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects.
All I know is that this is one big ass game. I had to use a walkthrough to find most of the collectibles. Your reservations. He's turning 46. <laughs> well, thanks. There's also some way up there. Way up there. And it's a bitch to get to. Marshall. Dolus. Just gonna keep whispering in my ear all day. This is not good ASMR, guys. Blech. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right. It, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Oh, my love. My darling, i for your touch. Well, used to fire the fire the I've never been good at this thing. It's better than last. This thing. Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. 
I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Maybe. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did yeah, it before. Well be. Push the hiss out. Usually after this, I usually take a... Oh, yeah. It reminds me of a lot of battles. You get the 400,000 chance of actually punching the symbiote off somebody or something like that. It didn't work. This has burrowed too deep. deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? 
It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. I doubt it. Where is the hotline? He's a selfish coward. It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But, in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. 
Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. Right. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Look around for connectables because I know there's a few in this room. Stay on the ground floor first. I need tokens for this boy. I can make them with other stuff. There's not a big place for me. can't play it because it's copyrighted. Collectibles, I do believe. What we were doing. We got the off space reference here. limitations on the bureau reminder if you
apparently it's snowing since I first started. This is boring. This is boring that I can't play the music. Hang on, time out. There you go. There you go. I didn't have the problem the first time with this. Correspondence. Where big bro goes later. Or little bro. Don't know who came first. Uh, over here. There's always something. Top level. Put that in there. So I'm going this way. There it is again. A welcome message. Guns that don't have the ability to reload. I don't know why, it's just one you know, of those things. Even if you do have that thing, I don't know why. I still like the notion of redoing it. Anyway, Ventures, don't care. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. Video just so I can take out the moment. I'm not here anymore. Oh, that's for later. That one's for later. Havana.
Right off. something up there. that guy. I also don't remember. Is it going to be a flashlight in this game? Is it Singing. Good. Yeah. Direct attention lights, thank you for approving my request. Oh, damn. Right. I had a dream, and I built this thing, I saw my dream. 
machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows that knew God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I've made it just like the dream showed me. I use the motor from the refrigerator, the coils from my coast toaster, and the fans, plus the timing belt from my inner car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet. Yeah. But the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at my address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dial and play it on go. Communications are on the right track. bother watching them in my first playthrough. I'm not gonna start now. <laughs> Down your part was coming up. Mm. Oh my god, I've been on for. Oh, for Pete's sake. Object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched on to it. We need to cleanse it.
Come to me, Flappy. Come to me, Flappy. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. gone cut off i got it just like you wanted right this will help me fight the hiss <laughs> Obtained. Always came here to grind out. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room.
This must open the door. Someone's feeding the whole shit man. Up here is, yeah, this one. Yeah. I stupidly actually got the box back there. I had full health before I got like the thing to stop you know, or something like that. I can't remember. I get the flying ability, there's something up in the rafters up there. I'll be back in this room before I know it. Put this back down. Do this one. Death, I do believe. They can fly now. Go to this room Great. just stay off to the side. Those blind ones that never can dodge the second time. Down there and find collectibles. I have a feeling he'll be back. I, I have that feeling too, but you that's just... focused. 
The hotline the should be that past the mailroom. Well, I hunt for the collectibles first. Come to me, my preciousies. I wish to find all the collectibles I can. <laughs> Might have been the only one in this room. Who knows? You always gotta make a sweep. Always make a sweep. I'll be coming back to this room several times. I kind of like that they do have like the uh, randomly generated missions. Missions, excuse me. So you kind of boost yourself in the later game. That way, there's a reason to keep playing. All right. I'll go until we meet up with you know, Hope again. Alberto Tomasi, head of con. The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry. And the hotline can't be far now. Ocean view. Ah, uh, I remember a show on the uh, Sci-Fi Network. I do believe it was something along the same lines, where you there's these magical objects. One was a key that could open any door to this room at a hotel. The Ocean View Hotel Casino. Light switch. Whoa, have we been here before? Possibly. No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Test something. Will that music go away? I do this. 
Yep, it goes away. That's boring. I don't want ominous music. Did that? How is this even copyrighted? Eh, whatever. Alan, I'm coming. Why is it always a rule three? I thought we understood the rule three. Like that sweet niche of a number. Uh, pointy guy. Bastards. You get a power. Somebody slows these guys. Oh. <laughs> you get something that slows these guys down later. Some kind of power. I can't remember what it is, though. It is a phone. Um. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. trench well listen to him he feels more like an echo an echo with I honestly don't care about them important info I need to get back to Emily People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Trans Bureau funding.
that it? Yeah, that's it. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override.
all these. I'm gonna have some space. Oh no, I don't read these. So, got it. Defense I got turns. Put the pistol. Directorial. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. Just just some questions. I've already asked these questions. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. All right. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? I'll go look. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. A lot of these questions could be answered by obtaining a live specimen. Here. Abilities. Health. Health. But we don't have the proper facilities. That's not the button I wanted to press. From the containment uh, I'll put in the that one. Oh. Board countermeasures. Kill enemies without dying. Sure. Kill his guards. Uh, that one. That one. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.